There's a view there. Just at sunset, I made it up here on top of the silo. You can basically see there's a couple of big ridges here on this farm. Idea, just try to see where the bucks are coming out so maybe we can move a little closer uh, on the ground level. But from this perch here, you can pretty much see the whole ridge where the bucks would be coming out. So pretty cool. You can see a long ways, that's for sure. using these two different alfalfa fields on this farm. They just sprayed these beans and whatever they sprayed them with it makes the leaves on the beans kind of crispy for a week or so. So they're obviously not liking that at all and then their fresh alfalfa just growing up from uh, being cut there not too long ago. So we'll just try to get a closer look. Maybe set up the trail camera down in there, but it looked like a couple of three pretty good ones for sure. Pretty good spot. After it again tonight, uh, what we're trying to do well, you can see there in the background, there's where we were spotting from the other night there and saw them bucks come out there on the alfalfa field there about dark. So we got a real good northwesterly wind. It kind of cooled off just a little bit today. Ought to be a pretty good evening to try to get some video of uh, one of them bucks. A couple of them look like pretty decent bucks. It's kind of dark when they, when they come out there, but hopefully tonight maybe they'll come out a little earlier. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're just going to go over here and be quite a distance from that field though probably a quarter of a mile or so but we're just going to set up in a real safe location just try to get just get an idea of what what they are first part of july here so they're getting their racks fairly well grown enough to tell what they are that's for sure Just get set up here. <laughs> There's already bucks out there in that alfalfa field. The only thing is they're quite a ways down there from where they come out the other night. I can get a little video here, but the one big one that we really want to get a better look at come up, come out on this end. So hopefully maybe he'll come out a little closer, but I'm not really a moon phase guy, but if you can like tonight, tonight the moon is oh just about directly above us here, just as it's getting towards sunset. And I I would consider that an ideal time. I don't know, a moon directly overhead as the sun is setting, or a moon rising as the sun is setting. I had real real good luck uh, seeing good bucks whether that has anything to do with it or not, but hopefully we'll see something pretty good. A couple more pretty good bucks there. And one pretty stout 10-pointer there. I almost wonder if he wasn't that one that uh, I got the video of there last year that shed his antler way back there in December. 10-point like he was last year. Definitely a mature buck, that's for sure. That other one looked like an eight with maybe stuff going on down around these brow tines there, but definitely some bucks. Well, it's getting towards dark here. All them bucks come out way down there, just hard to get any good video of them. <laughs> They're pushing a half mile away there, <laughs> believe it or not. But. I don't know, you might want to remember that. Moon overhead at, uh, at dark. Might be a pretty good time to be out scouting. Definitely a lot of bucks showed up there all about the same time. Two or three pretty decent ones actually. So uh, we, uh, we'll keep watching this. I'm, I'm just gonna watch this field from a distance. I don't wanna spook them off here. 
we might, like I said earlier, we might take the trail camera down here and try to get some close-up footage. A couple of them bigger bucks, but uh, definitely uh, some bucks in the area, that's for sure. So I don't know whether you can pick it up on the mic or not, but we've got all, all this heavy breathing here. That's not me. Well, it's kind of hard to get a decent video with all this panting, but uh, I need to address this problem anyway. Shed Dog, he was a little disappointed because he didn't get to go last night, so tonight I brought him. You can tell. that mane on him that Zach is a bad influence. I just wanted to state that. <sighs> and that's fun. That's a fun run. <laughs> they used to refer to me as Dog Farnball. Shed Dog, he's been watching too many Zach videos, I guess. Growing his hair long running wild, you know, just a bad influence all the way around. Started out fairly innocent, you know, but you know, all he wanted to do was chase deer. You know, we'd sit here and wait for some does to show up and then take off and get a run at him. And now all he talks about is, I want to get a run on a buck. I want to get a run on a buck. That's all I hear, day in, day out. So, I guess I brought him along, and if one of them bucks comes waltzing up here, I guess I'll just let him take a run at him, so he can be like Zach, his hero. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Way to go, shed dog. <laughs> what do you think? Just like Zach, you got to run on a pretty good solid buck there. Pretty fun. Good times. I guess he's going to watch that way. I'll watch this way. Nice to meet you. Not oh, a good picture, there's a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> so that one could walk up there. He's running across a bean field right now. See him? Get that. That's sweet, dude. <laughs> Pretty big buck. Yeah, it was a big boy. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Yeah. Thank it's you. fun. You, you might have to come shoot one of these bucks someday. Oh yeah. I, well, me and Jake for sure are gonna be coming over here at some point this year. So there's a, there's a few of them around. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty to go around. So. Not a black sheep, ten does. Yeah. <laughs>